Ian is in here, and welcome to Uncharted, the Nathan Drake Collection. So for the very first playthrough, I'm going to be doing Uncharted 3, because, well, it's before the Henry Avery journey in Uncharted 4, where we first meet Sam Drake, Nathan Drake's brother, and continue the journey with Victor Sullivan and Sam Drake and Nathan Drake himself. So, the collection insists of three Uncharted's, Drake's Deception, Among Thieves, and Drake's Fortune, which came out in 2007. This one came out in 2009. And Dis Drake's Deception came out in 2011, which was remastered in 2015. As you can see, they're all remastered. But first, I'm going to start it with this series, Drake's Deception. So, it's an action adventure game, which is developed by Naughty Dog. Once again, Naughty Dog, they make amazing games like The Last of Us. They cannot wait till The Last of Us Part 2. So it's the third game in the Uncharted series, and it's the single-player follow-up on Nathan Drake, who partners with his mentor, Victor Sullivan, as they reach for a legendary Lost City... I think it's the Lost City of the Iron of the Pillars? And... For the first time in the company's history of Naughty Dog, The Last of Us and Uncharted 3, they split into two teams. One team developed this game, Drake's Deception, and the other one developed The Last of Us. So, the development was approaching with incorporating locations distant from the series' previous entries, with the team deciding on a desert and urban areas, while they drew inspiration for the plot from the archaeologist T.E. Lawrence, which is pretty much who full, whose footsteps you follow in this game. Because in Uncharted 4, you follow Henry Avery and his voyage and what his discovery was possibly meant to be. So I think, so I guess Naughty Dog was trying to aim to upgrade the game's openness and realism. So that's why they remastered it. Because they wanted to make it seem like a real and open environment like game. And they did a very good job with this. Because the volume of the motion capture, the voice acting, as well as the conducting field research for the better visual environments and sounds is terrific. And the development team also sought to improve the multiplayer system, which included new competitive and cooperative modes. Which... You see, I don't really see why there is a multiplayer, because Uncharted 3 and all the, un all the other Uncharted's are good in its own way. They're good to begin with, because... They're big. Kind of like Uncharted... Kind of like, um... Excuse me, Far Cry and Tomb Raider. I don't know if Tomb Raider had a multiplayer, but I know Far Cry does. And it's just, it's completely not unnecessary for it to have that. Because like in Far Cry, they have outposts and bell towers. In Far Cry Primal, they have bonfires and outposts. And so is New Dawn. Except they don't have, uh... Bell Towers nor Bonfires, they just have the Outpost, which has three levels. Um, Hard, Medium... No, Easy, Medium, Hard, and Expert. And... For this game, it... It received... Critical acclaim for its critics, with the praise for its writing, voice acting, graphics, cinematic quality, and story. And while the criticism was directed at its minor technical issues and relative failure to the live up to its more um, critically successful predecessor. Nonetheless, the game it received Game of the Year from numerous publications and award advance and it was commercial success selling over 6 million copies worldwide. And that's and that was making it the 5th best selling PlayStation 3 game ever. So when it was remastered it was ported to the PS4 in 2015. And it's, like I said, the game's followed up by the sequel titled Uncharted 4 at this end in 2016. And it was released in PlayStation 4. As part of the Nathan Drake collection, which you pretty much see right now. But, without further ado, let's start it off with Uncharted 3 Drake's Deception Remastered. So here it is, Uncharted 3. 
Like it takes place in the Irem of Pillars. The Irem of the Pillars. In the desert. Are you serious? Finn? Did you? Yep, I played your game for a little bit. So what? Get over it. <sighs> Jerk. But anyway, let's just start a new game. Keep the bonus treasures from the loaded game for this new game? Wait, keep the bonus treasures from the loaded game for this new game. No! Why would I want to keep them? That's stupid. Finn, you're pretty much going to ruin my freaking gameplay already. Alright, and I already know how these Uncharted series go. Because I've played 4 so many times, and The Lost Legacy is absolutely amazing. So, you know what? I'm going to put it on hard. Forget crushing. Brutal? I don't think that's unlocked until you play crushing. But, trust me, crushing is hard. I beat Uncharted 4 on explorer, easy, normal, hard, crushing. I don't think that's brutal, but crushing is... It's ridiculously hard. You have no idea. I can just imagine what brutal is. That's like real life. But anyway, let's start it up. All men dream, but not equally. Those who dream by night in the dusty recesses of their minds, wake in the day to find that it was vanity. But the dreamers of the day are dangerous men, for they may act their dream with open eyes to make it possible. This I did. Hands up. Enjoying yourself, pal? Oh, yeah, you're a comedian. Nice warm welcome. They're both clean. My apologies. One can't be too careful. I'm guessing you're Talbot? Mr. Sullivan. And Mr. Drake. That's right. Do you have it? Let's, uh... See the money first. Cut out. It's all there. Now let's see it. I'll need to authenticate it. Of course. Silver. 16th century, Elizabethan design, inscribed with Sir Francis Drake's motto. Well, it appears to be genuine. Well, of course it's genuine. If I may ask, how did you two come into this? Does it matter? <laughs> My client will be very pleased. Hold on a minute. Sully, this is fake. I assure you, Mr. Drake. Whoa, whoa, you are right. This is phony as a $3 bill. What the hell are you trying to pull here? Perhaps I should be asking you. This is bullshit. Deal's off, pal. And you? You can tell your client. You blew it. Come on, Nate, let's get the hell out of here. You're not really in a position to negotiate. 
Now give me the ring, take the case, and walk out of here like gentlemen. While you still can. Do as the man says, son. You're a thief. Well now, that's ironic. All right, here we go. Come on, Cutter. Duck. All right. I'm just noticing in the bottom right corner of the buttons that I have to press. I actually like that games have that. It challenges you a little bit. Yep, like that right there. Kind of like in Far Cry 3. All right, here we go. Come on. Come on. Come on, Sullivan. Get up. Come on, Hunter. Was that the Hunter from uh, Far Cry 4? Now, why can he do? Why can he do any of this in Uncharted 4 to Nadine? Oh, I know why. She's a girl. Dang, this is fun. Let's go. It, even though Finn kind of ruined the chapter name for me, it's still amazing. This? Oh, you remember this guy? All right, Shrek. Well, they get another one. Hence the name. Yeah. People make big deals about such little things. There. You got another drink right there. Perfect. Come on, guys. I haven't got hit once. This a private party, or can I join in? Be my guest. That's it. See? I'm noticing at the bottom. Jeez, look at all these bodies. Come on. God, you look like Shrek. A big, gigantic, ugly ogre. Okay, I gotta move. Yep. You act just like him, too. You smell from piss and sh- Oh! Awesome! First treasure. Brass Vesta case. You look like shit. Ugh. And smell like it. Thanks. Exactly what I needed to hear. Just as soon as I got out of the bathroom. Took care of Shrek. The big, ugly, stinky ogre. And yep. Exactly what I get treated. Stop him! I've got the old geezer! Of course you take care of the old man because he's weak. 
Oh, I freaking love this! Yeah. Let's go. Oh man, Uncharted 3 or Uncharted 4 ain't got nothing on this. Oops. Oh, crap. Oh, damn it. Come here, come here. Typical bloody yank. All talk. Hey, 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 hey. He's had enough, haven't you, mate? Don't. Stay down. Hello, Victor. Kate? Still wallowing in the gutter with your protege, I see. Not very dignified for a man of your age. Should have known you'd be behind this. Oh, careful now. Wouldn't want you to melt. <laughs> Same cocky little shit. So fearless. I wonder what you're really afraid of. Not bullets or blood or broken bones. No. You get off on all this. Don't you? Cheating death? Or not? No. <laughs> Mr. Sullivan, I won't harm your precious boy. I merely want what's mine. Give me that back. Cut her! Oh no. Oh, shut, shut up. up! You fool! Oh, you're bloody welcome, Your Majesty. Marlowe. We have to get you out of here. Oh, come on. They're a right pair of arseholes. What? So I died. Me and Sullivan. So that's how it starts. So once right. again playing as little Nathan. Here. Greatness from small beginnings. Oh, that's that little um Saint Park Miss Magna from Uncharted 4 where you where you um find that crucifix from that little dungeon in the Panamanian um, jail. I remember that little quote. No, there's, <coughs> there's a treasure. It's a Drake ship. Let's see what we got. The museum's pretty much um named after my um my ancestor. Oh, it's inside the cannon. Wow. So that's the second one. I probably missed one, but who who knows? I got one, that's all that matters. The last mission, I mean. Oh, not here. A model depicting the sacking of Cartagena. So we're pretty much in Colombia. So what am I trying to look for? Because I'm noticing I don't have the ring around me. Maybe that's what I'm trying to look for. Oh, no, that's not it either. 
Excuse me. Just don't put your hands on the glass. Because trust me, the security will kick you out in a heartbeat. That's one thing a lot of people don't like, your hands on the glass. Because they might, because every time you do that, they might think you're going to try and steal it later on. Hmm, not here. Not here. That's not it. There's the next treasure. Antique coin purse. Ship's compass is. Pardon me. Ceremonial swords. Wow. Look at these people looking at me. Maybe upstairs. Look at her. I don't blame you. Seeing a kid wander around aimlessly by itself, looking at all the sorts of fascinating things around the museum. Hey, I would be suspicious too. But hey, it's Nathan Drake. You don't want to mess with him, even though he's just a kid. Hey, Capadre. It's gotta be in one of these cases. Oh. Okay, I can turn it. Let's try it again. I thought it, I thought he could do a little bit more. I had to actually do it. He didn't. He didn't really do it automatically. Hey, don't put. Yeah, don't put your hand on the glass. That's probably what he's. That's pretty much what he's trying to say. Yeah. See. Hmm, what's this? Oh wait. He, I think he went up to it. I don't really get what that did, though. Pardon me. I think I'm in the desert. Diving suit. The Cyclops, if you ever watched the Spongebob movie. A hands-on long boat expedit exhibit. It's like the only one that's not in glass except for these cannons. I'm amazed they're even allowed to even let you in. Cause you look like you look like you just got out of jail. Yeah, yeah. Stay away from him. Okay. Ah, oh, crap. Oh, there he is. 
Jesus Christ, what the heck did I do? I think he said, get the f*** out. Because, yeah, I mean, I don't know if that's really what he said, but that's kind of sounded what it said. That's... It kind of sounded like that's what he said in Spanish. Hispanic, Colombian. I'm not really quite sure. I gotta keep up with him. Chill out, Nate. Yep, I almost passed that. Is that a ladle? Soup ladle. Okay, get away from these couples. Because, yeah, don't be doing that when you're near them. It's a crucifix. Well, no, that's not a crucifix. Cru crucifix. I thought it was an astrolabe, but no. That's too smart to be an astrolabe. Ah, there he is. So take cover. Don't see me, guy. The person on the motorcycle, I mean. Yeah, you see a random kid walking down the street. Hey, come on. Now where did he go? Don't look at me. Why do people keep... See, this is what really gets on my nerves. It's like everybody just stops doing what they're doing. It just looks at you. That's just, cons that's just considered suspicion. Like this woman right here. Okay, not going that way. Because that makes, me, that makes people suspicious. Or it makes me suspicious of that person. Where is he going? Alright, perfect. Another treasure. Don't mind me, people. I'm not gonna steal anything. Okay, no, don't, don't go cover. Because I'm gonna be suspicious while doing that. I'm kind of amazed I got away with it the last time. The guy on the motorcycle just passed me like I was just some ordinary boy. Just... Just thought I was a little ordinary peasant just looking for food. Oh, I'm getting ready to walk into a slaughterhouse. Hopefully he's not part of... any crime organization, which I doubt he is. So anywhere with the cops, I can't go. Yeah, I don't think I can go that way either. Oh, damn. It's locked. Looks like he's going upstairs. Hmm. Gonna have to find another way up. Yep, and I already see a what. I just saw the people over there, and I just hope they didn't notice me. Hang on. Can I... Oh, Jesus Christ. I mean, I'm kind of amazed he doesn't get tired from any of this. I mean, jumping these crazy heights, or jumping from ledge to ledge, up and down below, that's got to wear you out. That's Sullivan, isn't it? Okay. I gotta get that wallet. Crap. I can't go down that way. 
That's young Sullivan. Before he had gray hair and a gray mustache. Careful. How lucky are you? How lucky are you that didn't break? Ooh, another treasure. Perfect. I don't think this game has any um, optional conversations, photos, uh, journal entries, none of that. All of that don't start till Uncharted 4 and The Lost Legacy, I'm pretty sure. Which is kind of good, because I'm not going to be wasting my time running all around the place. You know, trying to look for, you know, pointless things or pointless places to go. Which, hey, that's pretty much what I'm going to be doing here, but not as much. Because I'm just looking for treasure, then it shouldn't be a big deal. He's cutting through that building. I bet I can spot him from the roof. Oh, I see another treasure. Oh, so this is what they're going to start doing now. Oh, who's your friend? Ooh. A Colombian table knife. What's a table knife doing on the, a freaking logo of an... An O of a hotel logo? Art of I can't. I can't read that. Or a CV? I think that's how you say it. But that's what is that what they're gonna start doing? Putting um antiques or any kind of treasure on ledges and scalings of walls and stuff. I hope not, cause if that do if that is, then that's gonna make collecting a lot more challenging. But I'm not gonna complain, that kinda makes it a little bit more exciting because I get to, you know travel a little bit more and makes it a little bit more interesting. Damn it. Don't wanna go down there. I got a feeling something suspicious is going on here. One well, thing all these people are staring at me. I'd be looking around too if everybody was if every if everybody was looking at me like just keep walking. Get out of here. I gotta find a way to get that wallet. I don't know why you'd be saying that around a bunch of, uh, That's kind of risky of you saying that around some people. Cause yeah, if somebody heard you say that, they're definitely gonna be suspicious of you. Okay. It's right there in his pocket. Lady, can you please stop staring? Oh that's Marlo, isn't it? That's young Marlo. Catherine Marlowe. I think that's her name. Crap. Swag to me, viejo. Let's try that again. Let go of me. Ah, that's what I thought. Now don't try to run. You're a long way from home, son. Don't call me that. Parents must be worried about you. <laughs> yeah. Not likely. Okay, sore subject. That was a nice lift back there. You're pretty good. I don't know what you're talking about, old man. Hey, don't call me that. Your technique is really sloppy, though. You're telegraphing all your moves. You're crazy. Yeah? You've been tailing me all over town. Probably figured me for an easy mark. But you picked the wrong guy, pal. Uh, uh... What? My wallet. Fine. Maybe we'll just call the police. Go ahead. Of course, they might wonder why a middle-aged tourist is following young boys down alleyways. <laughs> you are a crafty little beggar, aren't you? I know how to take care of myself. Anyway, I'm pretty sure you don't like the cops any more than I do. Good point. Kid, the wallet. How 
Had to try. Of course you did. Telegraphing all my moves, huh? All right. Museum's closed. How the freak did he just do that? He did not go inside of his pocket one time. Second story work. I don't know. It's just really strange how certain people can, you know, do these types of acts. Such as this right here. Is this the quarantine zone? Everybody's in curfew? After 9 o'clock? Or in my time zone it is, because I'm in, you know, North Carolina. And then you know what's still going on around. No treasure? Okay, I was kind of expecting to be something. <laughs> Nothing. There it is. I wanted to drop down here and see if I can, you know, find a treasure. Because, yeah, this is the door. It's pretty much on the other side. Oh, okay. I think I missed a treasure. Yeah, I see one out there. Oh, come on. I, I You tell me I can't go back out. Ah, you son of a... Mm. I didn't think I could go inside. I thought it would just press the, the... The the triangle button. And you just say... Ah, damn it. It's locked. That's what I'd be thinking he'd be saying. Ah, God. This game's sneaky. A thief. That's what they're trying to do here. And hey, I see you, game. But, I don't know. I wasn't really expecting to collect every single bit of treasure, but it's just, just, just carry on and just move on. More treasure will be the, there to, for, be waiting for me. Who it is. The filthy little stray that made off with your wallet. Come on, son. You haven't got a chance. Just hand it over. Now. The ring. What ring? <laughs> Catherine! Who do you think you are, boy? You're nothing but a filthy, cast off little beggar. You're not fit to touch these objects. What the hell do you think you're doing? He's just a kid. Stop him! <laughs> <laughs> Gosh, she is crazy. Holy crap. My wow. Okay, whatever. 
More than likely, I'm still shocked about that treasure I missed. But, I think it was just an antique dog. Or that's what it looked like from a distance. But anyway, let's just move on. It's just one tre- One treasure. Oh god. Get away! Hurry! Let go! Ugh. Shit! Go! I'm playing on hard mode, so they could probably catch me a little quicker. Ah! Dang it. <laughs> oh good lord. Come on. Keep running. They looked like Hitman for me. Because they were wearing the suits. Yeah. Just hope it's not 47 himself. Because if it was, hell, I'd let him catch me. The guy's a badass. Enough of this. <gasps> what? Now they're shooting at me? Are you serious? They're going to shoot at a kid? <laughs> Just because I stole a little ring. Come on. It's not like I stole a diamond. For a prize, um... A prized artifact. Oh, that's gotta hurt. Thanks, Sully. Good go. Keep going. We've got him. Oh. <laughs> Damn. Move. Sorry about that. Call me all types of names. I'm still gonna get you. Ah, wrong way. Not get you, get ahead of you. That's what I meant. Are you? S Are they serious? What the? F How did he not grab that ledge? Somebody, please tell me. Okay, jump. They just killed me. Safe here. Go on. Suit yourself. If you don't want it. What do you want from me? Hmm. A little gratitude would be nice. I did just save your ass back there. Thanks. But what's in it for you? I mean, you're a crook, right? <laughs> you gotta have an angle. <laughs> you are one piece of work, kid. What's your story, anyway? Look, mister. No offense, but I don't even know you. Easily remedied. 
Victor Sullivan. This would be the part where you introduce yourself. Okay. I suppose you tell me what's so special about that ring. It belongs in my family. I'm just taking it back. Passed down from Francis Drake himself. That's right. I don't know how to break this to you, kid, but Drake didn't have any heirs. No children. Well, not with his wife back in England, anyway. <laughs> okay, good point. Let me see it. Come on, kid. If I was going to take it from you, I would have done it by now. Thank you. So, what is this? Parvis Mem... Sick Parvis Magna. It means greatness from small beginnings. That was his motto. Yeah? You see, Queen Elizabeth gave it to him in 1581 when he got back to England after circumnavigating the globe. That's when she made him a knight. Well, you sure as hell didn't learn that on the streets. How's a kid your age know Latin? The nuns sort of insisted on it. Ah, so like a boarding school. That's a nice word for it. Okay, then. So what was all that business with the ring and that astrolabe thing back there? Why don't you tell me? You're the one working for him. Look, kid. A client wants something, I obtain it. For a price. I don't ask any questions. It's just a job. Look pretty friendly to me. Yeah, well... Anyway. I'm pretty sure I'm fired. Okay, look. First of all, that was no astrolabe. It's some sort of decoding device. Check this out. On his way around the world, Drake sailed through the East Indies. Only he says that it took him six months to get from here to here. Yeah, so? So it doesn't add up. He was way too good a sailor for that. It would have taken him a month. Tops. He was hiding something. Something big. How big? Like secret mission from the Queen, big. Like millions in plunder treasure that hasn't ever been recovered, big. That big? That big. And that decoder has something to do with it. I would bet my life on it. Oh, swell. And Marlowe's got it. Won't do her much good without the key. So it's a stalemate, then? For now. So you still haven't told me what your name is. And you still haven't told me what you want from me. Okay. Look, you got talent, but you got a lot to learn. You stick with me and I'll teach you a few things. Thanks, but I'm doing just fine on my own. Yeah, clearly. What do you say we uh, try this again? My friends call me Sully. Nathan Drake. Nate. Drake, huh? Okay. I see great things in our future, kid. Great things. you were going to put a silencer on that thing. Sally, you've got no sense of drama. Right. <laughs> All right. Well, that racket's going to bring the cops any minute. Let's get the hell out of here. <sighs> Could have pulled a couple of those punches, Charlie. What do you mean? I hardly touched you. You headbutted me. All right, all right. I got a little swept up in the moment. Uh, you were the one who said make it look realistic. Better stay on this good side. All right, Broad Ice, look sharp. They're coming your way. Don't lose them. Told you they'd take the bait. How long do you reckon before they realize this is a fake? Who cares? Finally flushed them out. Now we just follow them back to their hole. You do realize.
realize you make everything sound dirty. I do? Let's get moving. Come on, hurry it up, Nate. Shit. The filth. This way. All right. God, that was so amazing. Just solely betraying his own men or his own organization slash Marlow. And yeah, we're sticking together with the nice future ahead of us, which is pretty much continuing right now. Sully and Nate cheat death and find out what Nate's after. And Sully pretty much joins him on this adventure with Cutter, the new character, Char Charlie Cutter. So, that's it. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you on the next video for where we continue this journey from T.E. Lawrence and Sir Francis Drake. And we'll find out what we're after. Ina's out.